What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video by Trunk Fresh Screen 34. And today we are doing a bit of an overview on the Mini Racers Dino Egg Cruisers line that came out um, early this year. So these have been out for a long time. I am very late to the party here, but I now finally have a full set of them because I was recently able to get the West Philanopus. So now that I have all eight, I thought it'd be kind of cool to do um, a review on all of them and just kind of talk about them and like the Dino Park episode of Cars on the Road in general because I think it is pretty interesting <laughs> to say the least um, what the implications of this episode were for the wider Cars universe. Um, so yeah, I will start by giving a brief history on this line. Um, so this was revealed like last fall, I want to say in last September, um, this was revealed and it didn't really come out till the end of 2022, early 2023. And basically they're like the normal mini racer blind boxes, except they came in these dinosaur eggs. They were numbered one through eight. So they had their own numbering system separate from the regular mini blind boxes. And they came in these dino eggs. And they actually say cars on the road on them. So they're just like engraved into the egg and you could open them up and your mini racer would be inside. So they were, they were a cool concept, I guess. Um, it was really cool at the time actually, because at the time we only had, I believe these four releases possibly out, I believe maybe, maybe five. Cause I think this one might've been out as well. So I think these three were the new ones. And I don't know, because I think I talked about this in a previous video of some kind. I don't really like the, um, the Dino Park episode. I thought it was kind of silly how they've made dinosaurs canon to the Cars universe. Because, like, how does that work? How, how do car dinosaurs work? Like, if you think about it for too much, it just kind of hurts your head. Um, but what I did mention was that much like the rest of Cars on the Road, even though the actual episodes weren't so great, I do really like the merchandise, and these mini dinos are no exception. They are pretty awesome. I like the details. They're all very cute. And yeah, let's uh, let's showcase them all. Starting off with the generic ones, the ones that aren't actually dinosaurs. Those being, of course, Cave Mater and Cave McQueen. So these were the first ones that they did. Cave McQueen was actually out, like, last August, so about a year old now, um, in the like mini racer on the go tube that they did for the Dino Park episode. And then he was later in a three pack with Cave Mater and the uh, Tyrannomyciosaurus Rex. Uh, oh, by the way, I will put all the numbers for these in the description so you can figure out which Dino Wig is which. Um, but yeah, uh, so Cave McQueen was one of the first ones they did and then Cave Mater they did shortly after. Um, it's crazy because it took like six months or so before we finally got Cave McQueen as a Mattel diecast, maybe even longer than that. And at the time of recording, we still don't have Cave Mater, which is really shocking. Um, so hopefully that is coming in the near future. And honestly, I really do like the expressions on these guys. They're very, I guess, derpy. They're very Neanderthal-like, like the stereotypical depiction of like a cave man or cave woman um so that's kind of cool how they went with that i like how cave mcqueen has like the stone wheels and the little spoiler made out of what looks like um bamboo kind of very very nice so obviously since they're mini racers they're not going to be super detailed but the detail that they did opt to include is pretty nice so definitely like cave mcqueen cave mater is another kind of fun one because they gave him like also stone wheels, but even a stone tow cable, which is awesome. <laughs> um, not sure how many cars you're going to be towing in the in the caveman era, but still a very fun release nonetheless. I like how they actually added some like detailing there. Um, it kind of looks like moss, but it also could be the blue paint, remnants of his blue paint possibly. So that could that's interesting. I think it is more like moss or or fungus maybe of some kind i'm not sure very interesting though really hope like i said we get the die cast version soon because that is a kind of glaring omission we have so many of the on the road mcqueens and maters already except for those 
except for like the cave mater. So hopefully we get that soon. Up next, we have the Quadratorcasar, I believe. Um, possibly the baby one, I'm not sure. And this one is awesome. So all the dinosaurs kind of have this like life, I don't want to say lifeless, but like this um, kind of stone-faced expression. They're just looking straight on. They're not really focused on anything. It's very, very charming in a weird way. He's got this awesome pointy horn up front. I really like that. Um, I really like the, like the weathering on him. They really kind of added a lot of detail in the coloring, especially for a mini racer, which they didn't have to do at all. It's very awesome that they kind of took the steps to do that. I like the rims. Uh, these don't look like they're made of stone, but I'm not sure what they're made out of them. Very interesting. They have some nice details in them. You can see his spikes down the middle here and then his little tail, which is super cute. We now have this guy as a mini, a color changer, and a 155 die cast, which is great. It's nice to kind of complete the trilogy. Yeah, he's even got a bumper, <laughs> dinosaur bumper, interesting. <laughs> and yeah, very, oops, very charming little release. So if I had to rank these, I would probably put, um, I'm going to say Cave McQueen below Cave Mater, just because I like the stone towing hook. And then this one would obviously go in front of all of them. He's definitely the best of those three. Up next, we have the Tyrannomyciosaurus Rex, who, much like Cave McQueen, did get released in that on-the-go tube, albeit as a plastic version. So now we have a much more detailed and much more menacing metal version, which is awesome. I love the, like, gray stone monster truck wheels those are awesome um and again love the detailing and coloring that they put on these it's not just solid blue you can actually see little brown spots on them these spikes all look to have a little bit of uh detail on them very very nicely done and i like that they did add the spikes in general <laughs> really nice you can see his, his tail there and i love the ferocious teeth and the, uh, he even has like a little grill and headlights. That's kind of cool. I didn't really notice that before. Yeah, they painted the inside of his mouth red, as they should. And so you can properly, properly see the uh, menacing teeth and bite that this guy no doubt has. He's got a little horn on his nose. Yeah, absolutely love the fierce expression. And he stands up and rolls just fine. Camera keeps going in and out of focus. I'm trying to fix that. Yeah, he stands up and rolls just fine, and you can, like, tilt him back and eat cars. You can have him, like, chase McQueen along if you wanted. So I definitely would put him above the Quadratorcasar, in my opinion. Up next, we have what was originally just called the Ankleosaurus, but has now been carified, as of recently, to the Crankleosaurus. And I love this guy. <laughs> I love the light blue color on him. I like his little expression. It feels very innocent, in my opinion. He doesn't look like he's a dinosaur that would hurt anyone. It's very, very cool. Again, nice rims there. I like the orange spikes. It adds um, some nice bits of color to him. And I absolutely love the spike ball tail here. Easily my favorite part of him. That's awesome. I love it. This was the one dinosaur that like I really wanted because I just thought he was super cute. And he's got even little tiny windows there. That's awesome. And you can actually like see the individual bolts going all the way across him there. Very, very cool. Definitely impressed with how much detail they actually crammed onto these mini racers. Like the mini racers have always been somewhat detailed, but the dinosaurs, they've really kind of outdone themselves here. So yeah, he's definitely my favorite, if I'm being honest. Also, I did say that I would put this above the Quadratorcasar, so he actually should be right here. But the Crankleosaurus is easily my favorite. Now we're going to move on to the one that I just got and completed the collection, the West Philanopus, who is just an awesome model, honestly. Um, again, I love the kind of derpy expression. The giant horn <laughs> is awesome. And he's got these, like, stone, 
um, roof flaps up, which is just, it's awesome. It's kind of comical, but it, it works, I guess. It's fun. Um, you can see there's, there is some mud detailing down here, which is nice, but the rest of him kind of looks too clean. And this, namely, like, this, these up here, and then, like, the upper half of his paint looks a little too clean for me. Um, maybe it's just the color. Maybe the color doesn't lend itself well to this, but all in all, not that bad. You can see he's got some teeth protruding out of his bumper there, and a very detailed bumper as well. That's super cool. And he's got these awesome, like, tailpipes coming off of the sides here. That's super cool. wonder why they're up there and not down here, which would make more sense. And he's got a super small little tail coming out of the back there. Like I said, I have no idea how car dinosaurs would work like this. Like, they have tails and stuff. It's super weird, but... I don't know. They're, they're charming. They're pretty charming. As for my ranking on him, I definitely think he's better than the Clankleo, but I do like the Clankleo more, just as personal preference. So, to be clear, I don't think any of these are bad. I'm just kind of trying to rank it based on what I feel looks nice. So up next, we have the Spino Crank Shafterex, who is a much more menacing version of the Tyrannomyciosaurus Rex, at least in my opinion. His expression is slightly different. Now it looks a lot more um, smug, like he knows he's about to eat you. Um, the chomp looks a lot more vicious. Like you can almost see there's like dirt detailing like on the corner there that almost looks like blood coming out of the mouth. Like it's very interesting how they did that. And you can see there's more detailing up here on the kind of nose area here. And much like the Tyrannomyciosaurus, he has his own grill, headlights, and tiny horn. And then, yeah, he's got his own, like, gray colored spikes and tail. Same stone monster truck wheels. But you can see kind of some different, almost looks like scales. You can see these little rectangular areas. I think these are scales, which is super cool. Very awesome. So I actually like this one more than the Tyrannomyciosaurus, just because I like the color yellow on this more. And I think the weathering and details are just a lot more visible here. Which you can like really see on the top here. So yeah, I think this one... This one I think beats out the West Philanopus, to be honest. I think that's the ranking thus far. Lastly, we have the Mecha Turbinatops, who is definitely a contender for favorite. He might beat out the Crank, crank Clankleosaurus, um, because he's actually based on a truck, which is just super cool. So you can see the, like, Mac-styled truck cap up top here, along with the um, massive exhaust pipes up top there. Camera's not focusing. There we go. Um, I really like the orange scales that go kind of down each side here. And it culminates in this bright orange tail. Super, super well done. Uh, he has some weathering field, weathering field. <laughs> he has some weathering detail <laughs> on the side here. No idea why I said field. Um, yeah. Definitely one of the cleaner ones. He's He and the Philanopus are definitely the cleanest ones, I think, in my opinion. Actually, I actually think the Philanopus might be cleaner, because you can see there's even more detailing on the sides here. And he has this absolutely ferocious mouth here. Look at these teeth. Those are spiky. You can run your fingers over that. That is very spiky. He's pretty terrifying. He might not have the size or the stature, that the Spino Crank Shafterex and the Tyrannomyciosaurus do, but he definitely has some bite to him, 100%. I like the grill here. That's also kind of a nice touch. Same rims as the um, Quadratorcus are. And yeah, if I had to rank him, hmm, this is tough, because honestly, I love them all. I really do. It's, it's super hard to kind of pick a favorite here. I think he edges out the Spino Crankshaft Rex. 
So I think the crank, the Clanklio, wow, I can't say that. The Clanklio and the Mecha Turbinatops are my top two. Spino Crank in number three, West Philanopus four, Tyrannomyciosaurus five, Quadratorcosaur six, and then Cave McQueen and Mater in seventh and eighth. So yeah, that is my kind of look at the Dino Egg Cruisers line. Like I said, I will leave all the numbers for these in the description. And um, in terms of availability, these are being sold at Toys R Us here in Canada, as well as various stores in the United States, I believe do have them. I'm not entirely sure the specifics on that one. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I don't really review mini racers that often anymore. Uh, typically, I only re do mega unboxings for them, um, but now I think I'm just going to kind of open up any mini racers I get in the mega haul videos instead of doing dedicated mini racer unboxings. Um, but I thought, you know, it'd be kind of fun to kind of look at the dino eggs since I don't actually have many of the 155 dinos they've done, um, which actually out of all of these, they've only done the Philanopus and the Quadratorcosaur and the plastic, the large plastic version of the Tyrannomyciosaurus. Um, but yeah, all in all, I think this was a really solid line. I think it'd be kind of cool if they expanded it to maybe do like the Pit Stoposaurus in the future. I think that's actually the only dino that we're missing in the minis line now is the Pit Stoposaurus. Could be wrong on that though, I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, here's my three dino eggs. I have three here now. Um, yeah, definitely a fun line. Definitely worth buying if you're a fan of mini racers or if you thought the Dino Park episode was cool. The detailing on these is fantastic. Definitely great releases in my opinion. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your favorite dino in the comment section below. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye now.